Carlos Contreras Legaspi para ESPN Deportes con el campeón de las 135 libras, Algerman Sterling. Algy, uh, well, big fight on Saturday. Uh, even I know it was a, a short turnaround, but how are you feeling uh, about uh, facing uh, Sean on, here in Boston? I'm feeling really good. I had a really good training camp. Uh, we had some really good training partners that we brought in, got to work with, get some good sparring, good, good looks to kind of give me as close of a Sean O'Malley look as I possibly could get. And I think we left no stones unturned. So I'm very excited about the opportunity on a big card. And uh, I know the Boston fans have been waiting for a huge pay-per-view event. So here it is. It's been a long time coming. And I'm glad that we're, we're headlining. Tell me a little about the little of, uh, process of taking this fight because I know you tweeted that uh, I mean you, you were not uh, ready at the, at the beginning, but right now uh, I know you've been saying that, that you've been ready. But what was the process of taking this fight in, in such a like is like three months or, or, or so like to, to, to fight again for uh, to defend your belt? Yeah, I just you know I literally just fought, so I, I need to just make sure that none of the stuff was serious. Got my X-rays, my MRIs, and uh, had a talk with the the UFC brass and was able to make things. All good, so that we could put on the show and uh, just be this. This way, we could make sure that I was going to be able to stay on the card. You know, it, I didn't want it to be one of those things where we say yes and then things didn't work out, and that's what I didn't want. Because you know, you got a lot of these other guys who say they're going to do something, then they back out of the card. <clears throat> Henry, so you know, um, you know. So these guys who talk about being savages and calling them, call them me a little bitch and then they they back out and they don't show up you know i show up to work and that's what i do so uh you don't miss the the, the screams uh, during the the fight way right like, like that would happen in, in newark like the yeah, guys, the guys yeah. yelling and so it, it is what it is man I, i show up to work man and i think the fans could appreciate the champs turning around and and competing so quickly so ever since the WEC days uh, the 135 division has been like really competitive it has one of the, uh, the most uh, I mean the faster guys the more, with a better technique so how are you feeling about this uh, conversation now that people is putting you even even uh, Sean is putting you there as, as the best bantamweight in, in the history it's cool I, I think Sean's doing it more so to kind of hype himself up yeah. should he were to knock on wood have lightning strike and him to win <laughs> so I, i think he's more so doing it to try to prop himself up to say how good he is but i i do think um my resume speaks for itself i think i put in a lot of good work got a lot of good credible wins guys that are still competing in the ufc and i think that's what it's all about you know um i'm not really paying attention to that I'll let the fans decide on that, and my job is just to go out there and smash this guy on August 19th. A lot, of, big part of the conversation also this week is, is, is this gonna be your, your last fight at 135? That you already shown you have the size, you can compete with 145 or so. Is this gonna be your, your, your last fight of Phantom? Way you feel like that, or are you just gonna take it like day by day? Uh, I'm gonna take it one fight at a time. So we'll see how this fight plays out, and then we can go from there and make our decision. And uh, you know, my goal. Dominate this guy, look good doing it, and then call out Volkanovski. That's, that's the plan. Call out Volkanovski for a title shot. What do you think about his last performance in, in, in 290? I mean, he, he seems like to be improving every time. He, he got a great fight against uh, Islam. He dominated uh, Jay. What do you think about him as a, as a challenge? I think it's a scary one. It's a tough one. You know, A lot of people doubt him, and he keeps proving time and time again why he is who he is. And I think he just goes to show that he's a student of the game, how much time he puts into his craft. And that's what gets me excited. It also gets me nervous because it's a dangerous fight. And I know this. And uh, I look forward to the opportunity. But again, I got to be Sean first. And I got to look good doing it to convince Dana that I'm worthy and deserving of a shot. It's something that you uh, talk to, to Dana about, like uh, fighting uh, Bolkanovski. I mean, sometimes they say that um, we're not getting the title shot like it's like right away. I mean, yeah. It's something you, you have you th talked about uh, with them or? Uh, not yet. I, I think he's heard the rumblings, but uh, you know, I got to do my job. I think defending four times is is more than enough. And uh, I think Volkanovski is in the same boat. He had his opportunity to go challenge for 155. So why not let uh, why not let me get a crack at it? But going back to Sean, I mean, this obviously people is, is thinking about his striking, the power of right right hand, and, and you're grappling. What, what do you think about this fight? How do you think is is gonna uh, is gonna happen? I think he's gonna use a lot of footwork. I can't I can't envision him trying to walk me down because I I think that's where I do my best with my reactive takedowns. So. It'll be interesting to see what his approach is. I know I'm going straight out to the center as soon as they say, you're ready to fight. I'm going to hold the center. I'm going to push back, cut him off, 
and make sure I take my time, use my feints, and just open up an attack and uh, try to put my hands on them, and then take his ass down and try to get him out of there. If the chance is there and, and the, the UFC opens, opens the door to a fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, you, are you planning to leave the belt or who would you like to have to fight the, for the vacant title? I, who do you think is, is more the, the, the serving? I, I think that the way that they should do it, just so that I can have my champ champ status or an opportunity for that, for that storyline, is they do it interim. And then, should I beat Volk, then they go ahead and that's the real belt. Definitely something big for your legacy. Hope you have a great fight on Saturday. People is uh, expecting for, uh, that, and, and I think we're going to have a great crowd. Yeah, I, I think so. This is, uh, the Boston crowd is going to be it's going to be a wild one. Well, thanks a lot, Aljo. Aljo Manstelling, el campeón de las 135 libras, este sábado en contra de Sean O'Malley en UFC 292.